so bigger than the, the Eiffel Tower and stuck in the muck. Uh, but it is unstuck, but not completely out of the way yet in the Suez Canal, partially refloated. After successful pulling and towing maneuvers, officials, says, uh, officials say that its course has been corrected by about 80 percent. Further maneuvers uh, will resume when the water level rises later in the day. And when the vessel is fully floated, it will be moved to uh, the lakes area for inspection and uh, traffic will open to other ships, not quite yet. Uh, one shipping director told CNBC Asia that the backlog uh, has grown to about 300 ships waiting for passage through the canal, uh, which usually handles about 50 ships per day. And we quickly learned that it's a long way around the tip mm -hmm. of, of Africa. Cape of Good to, Hope. To, yeah, to yeah. get to where, to where you need to go. And we take it for granted, uh, I think. Um, and then you got this, Becky. I, this is pretty funny. Well, that brings us, you, you talk about the hundreds of ships that are still waiting on either side of the canal, and that brings us to the Suez traffic report. The West Canal traffic report ever given, ever stuck in just south of the fresh food market on 23 Jewel. Nothing doing north or south. Let's head to the north. You can see Gaper's delays real heavy here, especially as you get closer to Great Bitter Lake, where everyone's just stuck and bitter themselves. Heading up to the north, nothing doing here, too. Breaks uh, all the way up to the Port Syed. Same to the south, too. Suez Gulf looking pretty heavy. Nowhere going anywhere. And this extends all the way out to the Red Sea. Red Sea more like Red Break. That was John Hansen. He's the co-host of WCIU's The Jam TV program. He tweeted that out over the week. Weekend and talked about how this was something that the former traffic reporter and him just couldn't resist. But it, it, it's actually pretty funny. It, good play on all of these things, but no joke that this created a huge backlog uh, just in shipping. And, and again, Joe, you mentioned this is stuff we take for granted, but 12 percent of the world's cargo moves through there. 12 percent has been stuck, and you are going to see the ripple effects lasting for weeks and weeks as the traffic starts moving again, and then you have backups at the ports, and then everything from there. We did not see the, love that. Yeah, the oil uh, effect was not so bad. We're about three bucks. Have you filled uh, so you're telling that that has not come home to roost yet. We do a lot more domestic production. Maybe that's why. But it used to be if you ever years ago heard the Suez Canal was blocked, you'd think, I don't know. Wouldn't you think the crude would be up above 100 bucks a right. barrel? I would think. But that did Most not. Most of the crude that was blocked there happen. was on its way to Asia. Yeah, yeah didn't really happen. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.